Hey everyone, so today we have another struggle marriage here. It's Samantha, your favorite black single mom, the millennial introvert. And I want to show you all this video where this man, this young man actually married an older woman. Um, but he doesn't want anyone to know that his wife is older than him. I don't know if she's much older than him. So we're going to get into the details when the video starts. But he basically goes on social media and sh displays to the world as a single or presents as a single man. Like he says he's single. And so let's just get into the video and then I'll offer my commentary at the end. Here and they got married. They had a ceremony and everything. To love and to cherish. From this day forward. He secretly married Hillary and was living that single life on TikTok, so showing off all the pictures that you guys may see here. So Hillary didn't take too kindly to this and decided to expose the brother. We will be going live. Me and my husband got married. We got married on May 22nd of 2022. My husband, because he was afraid, that I was going to go public with our relationship with our marriage, frantically gave his mother my phone number and she called my phone and she said leave my son alone and take my a dude that goes okay so of course you of course you all know what i love to do i'm gonna start digging i feel like this story is fake um i just i just opened my phone um i think i was reading news break articles news articles i'm a, I'm a news junkie love um keeping up with current events and just what's going on in the world and i saw this video pop up and i clicked on it and i was like oh my gosh this is crazy let's first go into the comments so this woman saying the only way people are going okay i'm gonna I'm a edit what people say as we go because i cannot even but <laughs> she's saying the only way people are going to know your personal information is from you stop posting your business on social media have you forgotten the meaning of privacy we will read it and comment on it uh, okay, I'm not sure what she's talking about. The next person says, girl, say it loud. Look like she married her grandson. Um, the next person says, who cares? The MF for legal. She definitely didn't hold a gun in his head. Okay. So it sounds like this first woman is being whole pick me. And she is angry that the wife is saying, is, is, is livid that her husband isn't showing that he's married and posting her with him all over social media instead of him just behaving like a single guy. And this woman is trying to justify that. And she actually got, looks like she has the hottest comment so far with 99 likes. And um, I'm just kind of grossed out by it. I'm like, what? Like, why even get married if you're going to pretend like you're not married? Unless you're doing it for some other reason, like money or something along those lines. So let's keep looking and this person right here that said that you know it doesn't matter how young he is you know it's a legal marriage and they're married so you know that's something they're gonna have to discuss i don't think that that was something that she agreed to i think he knows that she didn't agree to it and it might have been why he may have been secretly uh pretending to be single online and i, I can't remember the video already if they said that someone told her that he was like had a secret profile or what was going on there but let's continue with the comments see what else everybody's talking about so this person is saying Shh. okay i don't care about whatever they're saying i don't know this person is agreeing i guess with the original poster op what they call it? op and then this person is saying that part april is agreeing with the person that said it's a legal marriage and i actually agree with them too i'm like unless we had these agreement before we got married that you could continue to act like you're single online like a Derek Jackson you need to let everyone know you're married like otherwise what are we doing um but y'all know how these negroes are they are not loyal they're not loyal and they are not truthful so let's continue so this person says if y'all got married why is it mom didn't already have your number and not trying to be funny but asking just for the dynamics of this relationship are both the relationships male or one trans? Now, I know sometimes opposites attract, but hubby and wifey didn't see he's a pretty boy player type of dude. I don't understand. So it feels like everyone's jumping to the man's defense, even though he's the one behaving badly. 
One, because America's obsessed with youth. Two, because he's a man and we are in a male worshiping world. And three, it's probably because he's attractive. And so those three things. So they're like, okay, he's cute. He's a man. So, you know, whatever men do, it's always got to be right, no matter how trifling it is. And he's he's cute. So whatever he does, it has to be right, no matter how trifling it is. Because so they're basically trying to justify his crazy, knowing damn well, if that was them, they would be mad. So this next lady saying, girl, I said the same thing. And it's like, does it matter? He married her slash him, whichever it is. And if he likes it, I love it. So what business is that? What does that have to do with the fact that he's pretending to be single online? And his wife clearly did not agree to that because she's online now being very angry about it. And so let's continue. Oh, hold on a second. Okay, so so the next lady is saying, it says he was keeping it secret, posing as single. Probably didn't let his mom know either. Yeah. Um, the next person is saying, because he didn't want anyone on his side to know. Yeah, it's like, it seemed like he just married her and nobody knows that he married her. So I feel like he probably married her maybe for money. I can't, or maybe he likes her or loves her, but he's just embarrassed. Like what, other pe- you know, when you're young, you care about what people think. I think a lot more than when you get older, you start to like not care anymore, but he's still like in his twenties. So he might be, uh, not strong enough and not brave enough or man enough to be like, this is my woman and this is who I love and show her to the world. So it seems like he's trying to hide it. Um, the next person saying that he's married plus sounded like she was upset. You know, like how dare he give his mom her phone number as though it's not something her mother-in-law should do. Um, I think she's upset because she's his wife and you're bringing your mother into this one. You have your mom calling me like you're telling on me. <laughs> like we're three years old. So that just goes to show how young he is. He's bringing his mom in to like kind of yell at his wife. And his mom and his wife are probably the same age. And then secondly, you know, a lot of people when they're married, they like to kind of act like it's us against the world. And, you know, you're, you're not to bring other people into our business or, you know, tell people our business, even if it's family And so the mom, the wife, for good reason, could be angry because she could be wondering, like, why aren't you just talking to me as your wife and us settling this as a couple? Then you bringing your mother, like a third party into the situation, especially when she's probably the same age as her mom, too. So it's like, why would I be listening to your mother? Like, you're my husband, even if they weren't the same age, but especially because they are the same age. It's like I'm I'm it's very unlikely her wife will listen to someone that's the same age as her. It's not like she's going to be looking up to her as an elder or someone who's wiser because they're literally the same age. So she probably, you know, like, but I know for the most part, I have been in relationships. I hear a lot of males say this, where they complain that their women, their wives, their girlfriends, fiancés, whomever, uh, are always dragging their family into things or telling their family too much, too much about their relationship. And it's like, it's not their business. So it's like, yeah, like it's the same energy here. It was like, just because this guy doesn't mean it's okay. So he was hiding her in the marriage. That's what this lady's saying. And that's, I mean, I think that's kind of obvious, but I agree. (laughs) I think so. So boy, you couldn't tell by the facial structure that this is a man. That's what you get her falling for money. And it's funny because this actually looks like this other couple that I saw. Y'all know who I'm talking about. I cannot think of their name off the top of my head, but it was another couple and like a black guy with the black guy and he was married to this man, I think, or trans woman. Um, but he was married to a trans woman. So that's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, it's not even to say that he doesn't love this person that he's with, the wife. Um, but it's, he's probably worried. One, I think he's probably more worried. Like, people are going to be wondering what gender his spouse is. Just like, we are wor- thinking about that. Um, then so much worried about the age. So I think that is definitely playing a part in this as well. Um, so next part is saying, yes, what? Hell, quote unquote, hello, kitty. And then they have like a throw up emoji, tears laughing and kind of looking like dumbfounded look, I guess. Like deer in the headlights look like. They're basically, as, as, looks like they're alluding to the fact that they don't think that his wife has vagina. Okay. So 
the next person's agreeing, saying exactly that someone else, this another woman has spoke already, said looks like a dude for real, for real. Um, I'm kind of surprised no one's taking the wife's side. That's so interesting to me. It's like all these women, and I think the only one that really kind of took her side was a guy who was like, well, he married her, so it's legal. So it really doesn't matter about anything else. <laughs> that's the that's the the stance I'm taking. Like you married her, you know you didn't agree to this because you wouldn't have to be doing it secretly. And yeah, I feel like personally he's either on the down low. Um, he doesn't want people to know he's probably married to a trans woman, possibly. So we're still having the man parts downstairs, and he doesn't want people to know that he is gay. The husband doesn't want people to know. Or he is ashamed because she's significantly older than him. And I mean, you know, society is still having a problem. Just really struggling with older women dating younger men, even though older men have been doing it forever, dating like sometimes even children, uh, like little girls. But anyways, so I feel like society, he might, that could be another factor. And then I think the last one is he doesn't care about his spouse, his wife at all. He married her for money. And so he never had any intention of showing the world who he was married to. It was all about the money. So, yeah. So um, the next woman is saying 48 years old. Nah, whole lot. It's giving Netta and Charles vibes. Yeah, that's who it was. Miss Netta. Netta and Charles. Is it Charles? No, they're just saying. I think they're trying to pretend and give them. Yeah, it's Charles. And <laughs> so they're goofing off and giving like a weird accent type spelling okay so this person's laughing and this person saying right because the only reason i could think of that he would he didn't want to go public with the relationship is because she looks like a trans woman just saying and that's my i mean i feel like that he's probably more ashamed about that than anything else because i mean honestly i can't think of why a man would want to marry a woman and then go on social media and pretend like they're not married to that this person it's just confusing and strange so i'm going to be trying to dig a little bit get more information so this person said did he say he had a kitty cat little boy is on the down low exposed for having a sugar day <laughs> oh lord i'm gonna just leave these comments alone not liking or not or unliking or not liking or liking i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it alone but i do agree that i think the husband is on the dl and doesn't want people to know that he married a he married a man I'm speculating here because, of course, we don't know if it's a man. Um, we don't know if it's a man down in those parts. We don't know if it's a woman, really, and we're thinking it's a man because she looks kind of like a man, or if it is a man who has transitioned and has lady parts down there now. So it's like a lot of different factors that can apply here. So this guy looks like a guy's name alvis no not just a kitty a hello kitty oh he has a woman emoji that he's putting up so i guess it's a woman okay so this person is saying my wife is 48 this person looks old enough to be her mom yikes so this part this guy is saying he doesn't think that the wife is actually 48 thinks she's older than that um the next person is saying she set her she set herself up for that one and then she says, her next comment is, I thought this was a man. So as you can see, everyone's siding with the husband, even though he's behaving badly. Um, the next person is saying, this whole scenario has red flags, uh, you think? Someone else is saying, they're both gay men, and his name is Jesus Christ is God. Um, this person is saying, where is the rest of the story? Exactly, it even got cut off. That's why I wanted to do some more digging. Um, this person is saying, he could be her great-grandson. Is that a man? What's a user? Oh, they said, what a user. Yeah, I think the young guy, the husband is using her or him or I, we're going to call him her because they, he said that's his wife. So there she's identifying as a woman. So I'm going to try to call her her use the pronouns and a woman and things like that. So I do think the husband is using his wife. Um, So this person saying, so if it was a old arse man and a young girl would be accepted, tell the truth, shame the devil. Yeah, that's true. That really has nothing to do with this. Like, I don't, I don't think anyone is concerned. I mean, I guess people are kind of being ageist in the comments, but I don't think that's really the concern. I think people are either thinking that the husband is on the DL and that's why he's hiding his wife because people are going to look at her and be like, that's Netta. No, stop. But, you know, it's going to be a Netta Charles situation 
or he knows that he, he knows damn well that he actually married her for money so she could take care of him. He could be a kept guy. So either I think those two things are kind of taking precedence over the age gap, like the or the fact that the woman is a woman marrying that married a younger guy. Okay, so I'm very, this person says, I'm very confused. I was for sure that was a man. That's a guy saying that. This woman is saying, I bet it was about her money. Mm, yeah. Someone is the same man. I work with some dudes, got exposed by those he she's. Bad business, getting into relationships with those he she's. They always resort to exposing you when things go sideways. How are you exposing that you got married to someone? Like, I don't. I don't, what's the expose here? <laughs> like, I'm just like, literally is public record. Like you got Mary in the courts is, is public information. I don't know what exposing we're doing. Don't get married if you're hiding, if you need to hide it. Like, it's just, I don't understand. So the next word is saying he knew he was with a man. Um, someone is saying, girl, bye. Don't nobody want you that wig you got. He needed a green card. Okay, so someone else saying congratulations. Love does not have an age. I agree with that. It kind of does because you can't date children. You know, people try to. It's gross, but and illegal. Thank God. Um, so this person saying my cousin did the same thing. She is black and married a fifty-year-old German, and she is in she is in her fifties. They don't live together. He's in the military, and her daughter says she will get a wife check from the military. Can you believe this? So why did that man marry that woman? Learn from Lisa Bonet, these types of marriages don't last. I don't think anybody's thinking, if they're getting married for these like different nefarious type reasons, like they have an agenda, I don't think they care if the marriage lasts. <laughs> I think they're kind of like, I'm in it for uh, certain conditions to get certain things out of it, and then I'm out of here. I'm moving on. Uh, so the next person is saying, Lisa didn't marry a man in his 20s. Lisa's husband lived enough life in this to understand what he was choosing to do. Her ex-husband is in his 40s, and that isn't young at all. Um, so the next, the lady saying Lisa is 56 and Jason is 44. There is a 12-year age difference. Oh, no, the world's going to... When you're, like, both, like, 50, it, no one cares. <laughs> like, Lisa Bonet looks amazing, by the way. So it's like, what are you talking about? I actually thought they were the same age. If he's not old, I thought he was either older than her because that's, like, the, the norm that people are... The man's older or that they were the same age at minimum. I didn't. I literally would have never. That's why when she said Lisa Bonet's name just now, I'm thinking like, what? Well, Lisa got to do what it is. How's she just dragging Lisa Bonet into this? Like, what is she talking about? But apparently he's younger. Okay. Like, good for him. Um. So she's saying, uh, she said too much in women age faster than men. That's a lie. Gosh, these females are so women hating. They hate to be women. They're sickening. It's so obvious we live in a patriarchal society and women are just siding with the abuser like a bunch of weak losers. So now suddenly women age faster than men. I didn't know that. Maybe because we're actually doing all the work while the men are sitting back cheating. Um, so this, so she continues to say, if you look at her today and look at him, you can see why they are not together. Sorry, males just not going to stay with old women, especially if they are younger. You are dreaming if you think so. She's, she sounds like a whole idiot. So this woman responds to say when they married, he wasn't in his 20s. He was fully grown to make better decisions in his life. A person that's in their 20s hasn't experienced enough life to be married to anyone, in my opinion. 12 years aren't much that's like big sister and little brother, exactly. They're literally pretty much in the same generation. Anyways, so the next person is saying she bought him, period. So what if she did? He... He's grown enough to accept it. I'm sure she didn't put a gun on his head. This next one is saying, does he know it's a dude? That would be interesting if he didn't. I mean, it's your whole spouse. So we're just not going to be doing <laughs> any hanky-panky behind closed doors. Like, this is weird. Uh, the next one is saying, I looked on TikTok. It's a man claiming to be born a hermaphrodite. There are pictures of Hillary without her or his wig on. Who cares? Who cares as long as they are, as they are happy, but... LOL, she is not happy. Yeah. This song says, oh, darn. Okay. So someone did do a little bit of research for us. So maybe I don't I don't have to. Um, someone is saying, I know you lying. That's Medea's baby sister. Goonie, goo, goo. Whatever that means. Um, this person is saying, is that Uncle Clifford? Uh, someone else is saying, ovo, other vaginal option. Okay. Then this person is saying, I thought that was 
Charles, your food is ready. Um, this woman, Demita, says she got a spell on him. Patricia, Patricia says run and get a divorce because you married a man. They look like this guy does not know what he married. He's 28, not five. I mean, this is how people are acted with um, Drea, Michelle, and Jalen Green, I think his name is. Females are so quick to, like, coddle grown men and treat them like they're babies and just babyfy grown-ass men. This is a grown man with a grown man peen. He knows what he wants, and he knows who he married, and he's grown. No, I didn't see no, but he's actually big or taller than her. Taller than his wife. Looks like he's more better shape. So it looks like he is a man who can handle himself. And he went into this eyes wide open. So I don't know why we're babying him and feeling like we have to go get our capes that we I thought were burned and throw them over our necks and go save the day. He's a grown man. So this woman says he absolutely has to know. He didn't tell his mother. He knows exactly what slash who he married. Exactly. This person put that dude, and I guess he put some trash, like trash cans and throwing up emojis. Next person says, so these are two, that was a guy, Zach. And then this person, Fred, is saying definitely for a green card. So he thinks the husband's married her for a green card. Um, someone else saying he kept, he married her to be kept. And that's what I was thinking. And probably thinks she's going to die. And he will reap some insurance. She was only for mon she was only for monetary reasons. She's crazy to think dude really loves her. I don't I don't know to say she's crazy, because I mean that's that's a whole marriage. Like <laughs> you don't you should <laughs> Okay, let me try to figure out how to word this. Because we're in 2024. So I would think like at this point, you wouldn't think somebody would marry you and not be love like love you, not in love with you or love you or whatever you call it. So Oh, Lord, that's a whole other video, y'all. Like, we getting married out here and we don't love each other? Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it used to be back in the day. So maybe we're just kind of reverting back. To <laughs> My mom used to tell me when I was in school that history always repeats itself. Like, it, I hope that's not true. But she was saying, like, with fashion and certain things, they tend to go, come in waves. Like, they come and go. They come and go. And maybe that's what's happening with the nature of marriage. Maybe it's going back to more of a functional purpose as to why we're getting married versus like a love like back in the day when marriage was first created it was more to merge like land and wealth and assets together and to become wealthier together as a family like or especially like one family was a rich was a royal say they're like royal and then they were out of money though and then so the mom would be kind of grooming. This is what I see in movies. The mom would kind of be grooming the daughter to get married to the, the prince of another country where they have wealth. So it's kind of like you're selling, pimping your daughter, but you're busy selling her to the, the guy whose family has wealth so that your family can have some wealth. And But you already do own a country. Like you're already over a country. You're reigning over a country. So they so it's like two, two people win. The other family gets to... Um, you know, the other family that's rich gets to obtain like or acquire like more land and be having more ownership over that by that marriage happening. And then the wife and her family can gain some wealth uh, from that marriage. So I feel like maybe that's where people are at right now. Like love is maybe out the door and people are looking at more practical reasons, especially because the inflation is ridiculous and the economy is awful. And it's just, it is hard out there. It's harder to pay for things, rent, food, gas. It's harder to keep a good job. It's hard to get a job or, you know, and then it's hard to get a job that's worth something. And then when you finally do, now it's hard to keep that said job. And then even if you do keep the job, it's not even in great pay. The way, the salaries and wages have not moved up with to keep up with inflation. So there are so many things going on right now. So someone is saying she looks much older than 48. Someone else says, so it wasn't his age. He didn't want us to know about it. Was it married a man? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I feel like it's more because they. this is possibly a trans transgendered person. Uh, someone is saying, wait a minute, that first pic looks like a man he's kissing. Um, It kind of does. Isn't that creepy? Oh my gosh, people are just really out here just <laughs> doing whatever. Um, 
And they said, what's up with the Hello Kitty girl? She could have got, got a sex change. Someone said she's saying she's a hermaphrodite or something. Which is, I think, is two people uh, born with like the same, like two two parts of the genitalia. Like both parts. So I'm not saying, nah, you have a Hello Dicky. Stop lying, man. Had me all confused when he said he had a Hello Kitty. No, sir, you don't. Just because she looks masculine doesn't mean she's a man. His stupid butt was probably caught up because she was buying him. Anyways, it's stupid to play with people's feelings and emotions. He's of age and made a consenting decision to marry her. <clears throat> On the other hand, if she's trans, his mother still had no business in his grown arse business. I would have exposed his, his butt also and cursed his mother F out. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. He needs his arse beat for playing grown folks games. What? Can someone... Finally, someone's saying something that makes any sense. Finally, somebody's saying something that makes some sense. This is a grown man. Just because he's 28 does not make him less grown. Grown is grown is grown. By law, at 18, you become a legal adult. So, 28, he's been a legal adult. Out and about, living his best life for 10 years. So, he's got muscles. He's an able-bodied, grown man. So if he wants to marry who he's marrying, he can do that. If he doesn't, he doesn't have to. Like, it's, that's all him. Why we're acting like he got dragged down the aisle, I have no clue. He doesn't look like he got dragged anywhere in this picture. He looks very happy. Um, next one is saying, anything for the papers. I don't know why, how, do we know that this person is not an American citizen? People are just kind of saying anything, so... Um, this president is saying, I thought this was Miss Nettie from TikTok. Someone else saying money, 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 money. So now they're claiming the wife has all this money. That I don't know where it is. But, you know, whatever. Whole, whole Hello Kitty man. And sometimes maybe if, even if people don't have money, they can have like, they can be like merging the incomes. So that could be something you could you could be thinking about. Um, so this person is saying, don't post on Newsbreak if you don't want anyone to know your business. You married an older woman because you love her. Not to please anyone else is your business. Nobody else's. He did not post this on Newsbreak. I think it's someone, someone uh, maybe the wife, and this, this guy is talking, I think grabbed the video and, uh, you know, is talking about it. Like he maybe saw what the wife posted on her social media. And this is someone else who has a channel on Newsbreak and he's bringing it over to show people like what was posted on social media by another person, by the wife. So this person, why is it? So this person said, why is it that if it were a man, 48 years old, marrying a 24 year old girl, nobody would have given it a second thought. But for whatever reason, people want to badmouth an older female. I got news for y'all. The world is changing. And as a cougar myself, younger men wouldn't be with us if we weren't good to them and made them happy. Exactly. And she's, this person saying, it's the cougar for me. I don't know what that means. Don't care. This person saying, was he on drugs? Whatever. He shouldn't have been on drugs then, right? Choose better. Choose better choices with your life. Choose a better spouse. If it's not the spouse you want, choose better. And then she doubled down and says, was he drunk or on drugs? It's called an annulment and a divorce. And even if he was drunk or on drugs, those are still his choices. Um, this person saying, y'all, when I say she is pissed that Netta and Charles are making money off of their story, that she decided to go in on them because she feels like they stole her story. Hashtag deranged. Who's deranged? You sound like you're making up a whole nother plot that no one, <laughs> this person made up a whole nother story that no one's heard about. We're literally talking about this guy who's pretending to be single and he's not. And the wife is getting mad about it. And she has came over to her whole story and then got the nerve to call them deranged. Okay. This person saying, why is this allowed? Um, the next person saying, well, that yeoman looks like a man. Is he sure he married a woman? I think he is. He's a grown man. I think he knows what a woman is versus a man. Someone is saying, that's a damn man for sure. We are, well, all has been exposed. What? Afraid? Not a man yet. Maybe never. Not all people grow into maturity. Sad and frankly, some severe immaturity going on. Someone else is saying he's married a man. Someone else is saying that's a sugar daddy. Someone else says, well, because he married you for money. And probably paper, shaking my head. And 
yeah, I don't know. It's not right. So if that's what he did, it wasn't right. So it's not that doesn't that's not going to be giving justification for him to be online pretending that he's single when he's not. Um, someone else is saying, okay, so when is the truth going to come out? Didn't see where they exposed that the lady is a dude. She's a dude. More assumptions being made. Someone else is saying, yo, man, why? Someone else said, looks like a man. Bless his weak heart. Love is the motive to happiness. Okay. This someone else saying, she show is ugly. Love is beautiful. Okay. Don't know what her looks have to do with anything. He still married her. Next person saying that is a male Hillary. This is some mess. She's transgender. Someone else says he's a booty call, not a husband. How on earth did you get the two mixed up? This boy's still bringing his mother into shish girl by because you knew better. Don't cry now. I think she can cry if she wants to because <laughs> she probably didn't know. She, <laughs> she probably didn't know he was going to be dragging his mother into things. I mean, you don't know what he's telling her. Guys lie. Um, next person saying, this is crazy. Why did you marry her then? Makes no sense. I agree. So I want to say what he needed, citizenship and money. Pretty pathetic if that's why he married her. Um, so when it's just saying, keep it real now, more like a what the F is that? Love doesn't need to hide or lie. Okay. I did thought this was two dudes and I know I can't be the only one. Okay. So I'm saying the fool went and married a what you call it that looks like big rhymes and holiday and holiday heart. I don't know what that is. Showing his age, I guess. Don't mess with my being. Leave him out of this here mess. Thank you. You know, so funny. I love how people always say God brings people together when it's like a woman and a man, no matter how raggedy their marriage is. And they'll try to act like, oh, you're the other woman, you're the mistress, blah, blah, blah. Like that could not be your soulmate because God brought those two together. I never hear that when people get married to a transgender person, a person that's too old, that people deem is too old for them. Obviously, when, when a grown adult gets with a child, um, like say they marry a child bride. I don't hear that when it's like, so for a lot of people, if it's like two gay men or two lesbian women, like... And they cheating and they're cheating. Like, it's like, does the rule still apply to all these other various type of couple? So, you know, I just feel like people do not have that same energy when it comes to couples that aren't the, the typical husband and wife couple. So I feel like if God brought those two together, despite the fact that he's stepping out. And so now it's like, that can't be your soulmate because he's God put him with her. I don't think that's his soulmate either because that's not how soulmates work. Soulmates are perfect for each other and they do not have your spouse stepping out on you because they don't want to have sex with you. They're not attracted to you. They don't like you. You guys don't get along. You have nothing in common. All that stuff. Do you really think God would put two people together that are that incompatible that someone's cheating on someone and maybe even falling in love with the other person? Or maybe it's just that it was a karmic and it was meant to be learning a lesson and then moving on. Or they were never meant to be together to begin with and they got married for the wrong reasons. And while, while they were married, they actually did find someone to, that they fell in love with. So there's a lot of different scenarios there. And I just think it's interesting because everyone's making fun of this marriage. I don't see anyone saying, oh, God brought this marriage together. How are you all talking crap about it? But when it's like a man and a woman, no matter how dusty as hell that marriage is, it's like, oh, it's so protected because it's a, it's God, it's man and woman. God brought them together. If God brought them together, he can take them apart, right? I don't know. And if he brought them together, then he brought these two together also. So this is not, he can't be for a green card. So you see how ignorant that sounds? So when people want to pick and choose, so sometimes it's I'm getting married because I'm getting a benefit out of it, which is usually the case. Um, and the other times it's like, oh, now it's God ordained and yada, 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 yada. And it's like, you're not God. So I don't think you can say what God did. And <laughs> the proof is in a pudding personally. Like if you don't see the marriage looking, doing well, or you see the man or woman falling in love with someone else is not their spouse, then you can kind of go ahead and guess that this was not God ordained to be a lifelong union because why would God put you with someone you have you don't get along with you don't like 
that you're not with, maybe there was a lesson there to be learned and you're meant to be moving on, which is why the marriage is so difficult and hard and raggedy as hell. So let me continue. So this woman is saying suckers for love, LOL. Someone else says, I, I'm with you. I with you with, with my 21 years old girl, please. I have no clue what that person is talking about. Someone else said, he must be in it for the money. Go get a job and stop using that lady, lazy young man. Oh, Lord. Someone else says, so two, two dudes got married. The younger one is embarrassed. So what happened to God is bringing this union together? Let me stop, y'all. <laughs> Woo! I'm going I'm to bring that up every time now because people tried it. People tried it. It's like, we're just going to act like, you know, you can't possibly fall in love with someone else because God bought JT to get these two other people together that don't work. That's why the divorce rate is so high. <laughs> if, if, if every marriage was meant to be staying together, this is God. You don't think that, that he will make it where that's what's going to happen. And then people may go back to, oh, well, there's free will. Correct. So again, even if God meant that person to be with that person, the person is using their free will to get out of it. Like make it make sense. None of this makes sense. And I'm going to tell you right now, like soulmates are super meant to be together. Like they're so compatible. It's disgusting. They are going to be together for the rest of their lives. Like for someone to be your soulmate, that's like your perfect match. That is your perfect match. So if there's these rocky moments and you're like stepping out on them and doing all these other things that I don't, I feel like my God has the ability to create a perfect union where everything just falls into place. So if it's not happening, then it's probably not something that God necessarily is concerned with making it work to the end or that he's going to make that your soulmate. Because if anybody can make someone your so perfect, divine Everything is the, the best happiness ever relationship marriage you're having. The, uh, if there's anyone that can create that, it's going to be God. The God that created the heavens, the earth, the moon, the stars, you, you babies and people's stomach. Like people don't know how half the stuff works that works. All of that is God. So if God can do all that, don't you think he can make a marriage that is like perfect? Not with all this drama, all this abuse, verbal abuse, physical abuse, cheating, um, you know, stepping out, hiding money, fighting about the kids or whatever. Like, yeah, I just, I cannot. And it, and I think the hypocrisy that's really irritating me too is reading these comments right now and looking at how people are talking about this, the wife who I feel has every right to be wrong at her husband, because let's be real here. Most people are not going to be getting married because my, my question is why get married? Why get married? If you're going to go online and pretend that you're not married. Make it make sense. And if this was the uh, another way around, like the other way around, I think like because like if say like if it was a woman who married the guy, everybody would be like justifying like they would be basically talking crap about the crap about the woman because they always love to talk crap about the woman. This country hates women. This country hates children, period. They would be talking crap about the wife if she was 20 years younger and she married her sugar daddy. And she was online pretending that she wasn't married. And he came on and, and busted her out and was like, girl, you got you married. Why are you online? Act like you're not married. These comments will look completely different. They will be dogging her out. She will be every kind of hoe, uh, heifer, slut, everything you could think about. That would be her. She'd be a gold digger. She'd be this, she'd be that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Even if he, you know, they would just assume the worst of the wife and the husband is to be pedestal put up on a pedestal somewhere he is perfect even though he should have known you you're marrying someone that's young she is not with you for the most purest of reasons but because it's the other way around and of course everyone's saying they think this is a dude but people haven't confirmed that so they're still moving in this space as though this is a woman so we like to dog women and there's feeling like it's an unattractive woman or even if it's, they know it's not a woman, they're knowing that this that the quote unquote woman is sitting in a the wife's space, so she's taking on the the woman role, and so that means this is the person we're going to attack. This is who we're going to go after because this is the woman in the story. We have to pedestalize the man, put exalt him, and put him way up high, even though he's the one doing the wrong things. Because if he has to call his mom, which is a hot mess in and of itself. Why can't you sit down with your wife, 
But like, why is your wife getting mad at you if this is something that you all were both cool with? If you're both okay with this, we shouldn't even be hearing a story right now. You know she's not okay with it. I know she's not. Everyone knows she's not okay with it because most people are not going to get married and be okay with your spouse hiding you. That's weird. Like, why even get married then? And we know why, because you're using your spouse or you're ashamed, ashamed of your spouse, which is just as bad. So this person said, this boy has mommy issues. And then someone else is saying, well, not just mama issues, but daddy issues too. And then they're saying, true that. This is on YouTube. That's a transgender. Look up Nate and Hillary. And y'all know I'm about to go over there in a minute. Someone else is saying, look like he married a James Brown. Look alike, only trying to be a woman. Someone else is saying, that bra looks like a whole young Medea. They're laughing, laughing. Boy, there's all sorts. Jeesh. Jeesh. I don't know what they're talking about. Mom was ready to put him out, so he needed a new mom to take care of him. Yeah, I'm sure you would know Marcus and stuff. <laughs> if anyone would know, it's these hobosexuals out here. This person, but this is a man he married. That's why he didn't want no one to know. LOL, busted. So I'm saying we all know he married for money to be taken care of like a grandson. Someone is saying that's some old queen. That's an old queen, and that is a hard 48, more like late 50s or early 60s. That's a woman saying that. I think the other comment about marrying for money and grandson was another was a woman um this guy is saying she knew the arrangement that was the agreement he gave her a man and she took care of him for life now she wants to go public how does he know that so let me go into the youtube space because i'm like what are we what am i missing here because i didn't see all that in this video that, that there was a whole arrangement and everything that you have to go hide out in the shadows that's not even healthy. I don't know most people could even do that. Like even if they wanted to try to keep that person. So I'm just saying a hard 48 is right. More like 65. She, she, he's playing house with the older hmm, man or woman. Anyways, someone is saying because a man, someone is saying looks more like his hubby for lifey. LOL. Those are two women. LOL. Another woman. Like I'm just saying LOL, but it's like you, you all can see it's like happy emoji. I mean, it's laughing, crying, tear emojis. Laughing, crying, tears emoji. Someone is saying you look like a cab driver. I didn't know cab drivers had a look. Someone is saying you knew that you were marrying a child. Society frowns upon men when this happens to them. What's your excuse for taking advantage of a minor that you know has no life experience? That person doesn't need an excuse either. This guy is almost 30 years so. old. That's the saying, I wonder if money's involved. Someone else says, in the first picture, it looked like two men to me. Yes, I couldn't tell. Um, they said he married an older, an old man. Then they're saying, LOL. Someone else says, then why marry? Exactly. I get to find that out. Someone else saying for citizenship, got to stay married for five years to be eligible for citizenship. So we're assuming that the husband is illegal or um, foreign or something. Um, the next person saying the wifey appears to be a husband, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so everyone's pretty much saying the same stuff. So let's go over to their YouTube channel because someone said it's on YouTube and they gave their names. Um, someone said they think th that she's pregnant. <laughs> okay, someone is saying Hillary needs to leave that young boy alone. He is not a boy and he looks like he's loving it. Someone is saying what in the world? This woman was too desperate to find a young boy to be with and not a man. What? There's plenty of men in the world. You just have to know what man satisfying to your needs, just like a fruit in the market. She know and he know and all the viewers on here know that it doesn't look right. She stooped to a lower standard to find a boy that's her grandchild ages. I wonder what his parents have to say. She needs to go to jail. That's a minor. I would have whipped her behind, then take her to court. She's disgraceful. It's not a minor. It's not a minor. Like, whatever this lady is saying is defamation. Janice Smith is defaming the wife at this moment. Like, she's saying that her husband is a minor, and that's absolutely not true. So why would you be spreading that bad information? That's very dangerous. Like, they think that's cute. That's not That's not cute in any way, shape, or form. Any way, shape, or form is not cute. It's not even cute, honestly, that people are calling this person a man when there's nothing in the video saying that it is a man, so you're also defaming them in that manner. Even if it was true, it's like, well, they never came out and said it, so what proof do you have? And why do you think you get to tell people's business and say it? Um, this person is saying, Twitter, first of this video I had to really look, but the wire supposed wife would do because she looks like a dude is drag. I'm just saying. 
These none of these people can type. Let me get out of here. Mm-hmm. I'm more woman than you will ever be. Okay, let's stand side by side and 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 look at our body. Particular, a dude that goes by the name of Nate, who's 24 years old, and his wifey for lifey here that goes by the name of Hillary who's 48 years old now this is a strange case and i just want to kick it off properly so you guys get a background on it so hillary is from washington state 48 years old and from the history and background that i've done on it from tiktok shout out to aunt karen who's on there covering a lot of this stuff but he was a scammer out there in washington state he claimed one time that he won the lottery to get out of jail he also sued the police he sued all these folks and he's just been scamming left and right but he's a transgender who's also self-proclaimed intersex. He'll go into that right here, which you guys will see the clip where he explains it. Were you born male or female? I was born a hermaphrodite, or also known as intersex. So I had to look up what a hermaphrodite was because I had an idea, but I wanted to make sure that I was being accurate in what I think it is. So I found a few different definitions, and it seems like, Someone is saying on here, let me find the, the link in a minute, that, where was I? Okay, um, clevelandclinic.org was saying that her hermaphrodites don't exist, that it is an outdated term, implying that a person is both fully male and fully female, which isn't biologically possible. In fact, many people who are intersex consider that term derogatory and stigmatizing. Intersex and being intersex are the correct terms. Okay, so they're saying that a hermaphrodite would be someone who has the same all female parts and male parts. And they're saying that's not possible. Like they may share, they may be born with the same, with two different, the two different genitalia but they don't necessarily will have the rest of the biological biological components to be considered a male, like a male and a female. They're saying that is not possible. Um, and so here from Wikipedia saying a hermaphrodite is a sexually reproducing organism. So a hermaphrodite is a sexually reproducing organism that produces both male and female gametes or gametes. Animal species in which individuals are either male or female are gonochoric, which is the opposite of a hermaph- hermaphroditic. <laughs> so I wanted to look at a few different definitions because some of them, <clears throat> some of them still did not really give me a uh, true meaning of like what it is or what I think it is. So this one right here is asking, this is from like the pubmed.ncbi.nlm.nih.gov website. And they're saying are hermaphrodites both genders, which is con- which is basically what I wanted to know was are they both genders? And that would mean that they are they have the capability of having like a reproductive system of a woman, uh, but also being able to create the sperm like a man, like they literally would have the reproductive systems that a man and a woman have in and of themselves, like within one person. And so the the answer they gave was abstract. True hermaphrodism is a rare form of intersex anomaly where both male and female gonads are present. So they're talking about the genitalia. Um, True hermaphrodites diagnosed in the past have been preferentially reared as males. I feel like everyone's kind of like giving their own um, self agenda answer, like response. They're not really uh, being, I feel like it's not being really genuine in how these answers are being provided. And that's why I kept looking because I just felt like that doesn't seem right. Because they didn't really ask that. <laughs> it's really difficult to explain it um, because. I mean, like, so they're asking if hermaphrodites are both genders, meaning male and female. So that's like the very simplistic form of how you look at it. So if they're saying they could be both, but then they're saying, but they're preferentially reared as males. I think that's highly problematic. And I think the next definition will 
explain more of why it is that I was surprisingly found at PlannedParenthood.com. I was kind of surprised that they would be taking that stance that they did. So this is something that I found problematic, which actually kind of lends itself to what I just talked about from the .gov website. So here they're saying, her, her, I'm not going to even try to say this word anymore, the H word-ism, can it be cured? Can hermaphroditism, ditism be cured? That is like the most complicated word to try to say. In summary, after deciding on the sex reassignment, surgical correction of the external genitalia is mandatory for treatment of hermaphroditism to bring consistency between the genitalia and their reassigned sex and ensure the stability of the patient's gender identity. So, let's go into... Okay, so this is another good one. They were saying, can a hermaphrodite have both working parts? Simultaneous hermaphrodites are born with both male and female reproductive organs. So it's not really a, just about them having the the private parts. A true hermaphrodite would actually have like the ovaries, the, the whatever like guys have for the, to create their sperm and it, they, a uterus. Like they would literally have the reproductive entire system um, is what I feel I'm getting here it's not just oh you just have the penis and the vagina like that's it <laughs> so I feel like that it, people are saying that they're hermaphrodites when they are transgender I want to say they're doing it to give themselves more validity and um, not seem like they're so such a quote-unquote freak I hate that word but that's, anyways they don't want to seem like they're weird like um you know and so I feel like they're trying to find like a technical term to uh, justify what they're doing, which they really don't have to. I feel like if that's how you feel, that's how you feel that you truly are and you can do what you want. And of course, I can't speak for them because I'm not in that community. But, you know, I don't I don't know if they find that there is more support for them in the medical field Um or just like in the within like our society, if they say that they were born this way, I really don't think that they possibly are. Of course, I have no clue because I'm not looking at anyone's private parts like uh, Hillary, for instance, in this story. But um, I think more than not, cause based on what I'm reading here, they're saying it's very rare. So I think more than not, they're not. They are just saying that because I feel like they... They want to feel like this is, it's more acceptable for people to understand because it's not something you could help. Like you were born that way. So you can't help that you're different versus I was born a, a boy or a girl and I'm actively doing going through the process of changing my entire gender over to the opposite gender. So that means I'm basically getting reconstructive like uh, surgery for my, um, private parts, so on and so forth. So I feel like they're just saying that just to kind of, one, it could also be to help it be easier to explain why they're the way they are, like as a transgender person. And then I also think they want to add some validity to it. So they're like, I was born like this, but they probably weren't. Um, so anyways, they're saying that the, um, yeah, so they were saying that with, when they have the both male and female reproductive organs, they can release either a sperm, either sperm or egg, depending on which breeding role they must assume. I think that it, it would mean they can do both. You know, they can release both and probably impregnate themselves, to be honest. Um, and they said this form of her hermaphrodism is rare among all vertebrate animals. And so... Let me see here. They said only one pregnancy has been reported in a true hermaphrodite. So when I read that, that tells me that it is possible. Even though it's rare, it's possible. So when I was reading the other definition, they were saying they, that doesn't, they don't exist or it's not a thing. I feel like that is highly problematic. Um, in science, I would say that there's like really nothing that's completely absolute. So for that to be um, coming from a scientific um, website, which is the clevelandclinic.org, 
I feel like that's dangerous to say something doesn't exist that that could possibly exist. You know, just it's just a problem. And I don't really feel like getting into it because it would be forever to explain that, but it's a problem. So they were saying they had one pregnancy that was reported in being a true hermaphrodite. Uh, the they were tr- the person I guess was treated by removal of testicular tissue and corrective surgery to the external genitalia. A normal male child was delivered by cesarean section. We report a further patient. And that is from the obgyn.onlinelibrary.wiley.com. So doctors should know better than to post that they don't exist when you don't know if they exist or not. And then you have this last one I think was a pretty um, good one here. Uh, Mayo Clinic is calling in. They said that it's exposure to male hormones during the development results in ambiguous genitalia in a genetic female that's what they're going with, which I think that's inaccurate as well. Anyway, so what does intersex mean? They say intersex is a general term used for a variety of situations. So this is what they say is the um, politically correct term instead of saying hermaphrodite. So they're saying that the intersex is a general term used for a variety of situations in which a person is born with reproductive or sexual anatomy that doesn't fit the boxes of female or male. Sometimes doctors do surgeries on intersex babies and children to make their bodies fit binary ideas of male or female. So that's basically telling me that there are, there is a such thing as hermaphrodites um, and they're actually still being born. And it sounds like the doctors are actually still, of course, I'm not even surprised, but they're actually still picking like the gender for the baby. And maybe the parents are telling them to, I don't think they would be able to do that without the parents' permission. And the parents are probably worried that the child will have a more difficult life if they don't uh, take a side, you know, like they're very, cause it's almost like, it's one thing to be different and be like, I'm gay or I'm transgendered. I feel like I should be a woman, but I'm in a man's body. It's another thing to be like 30 years old, explaining to people like why you have a penis and a vagina. So I think the parents probably would say, you know, and help them choose and well, give permission for them to alter the baby so that the baby just fits a binary, quote unquote, binary idea um, of male and female. So doctors always assign intersex babies and in babies a legal sex. So that part was interesting. When it said doctors always assign a baby a legal sex. So I guess like even if the baby's born with both genitalia, they're just going to put whatever on the birth certificate. Um, so they say doctors always assign intersex babies a legal sex, male or female, in most states. But just like with non intersex people, that doesn't mean that's the gender identity they're grown to have. This brings up questions about whether or not it's okay to do medical procedures on children's bodies when it's not needed for their health. And I actually agree, especially if they're doing it without parent permission, but even with the parent's permission, like, I just feel like it's kind of, uh, it's bad. It's bad. Like, you're just choosing, this person is, that's their entire identity, and you're just, like, choosing before they, without them really having that choice. And, you know, to be fair, I think, a lot of people would probably be grateful that their parents did that because now they can have a somewhat normal life, even if they do turn out to identify more with the opposite gender. But I, I don't know. It just is like a very difficult topic to talk about because I feel like they would also be, they could also be like upset that their parent got the gender wrong. Um, So of course, because I'm not in that community and obviously I'm not a hermaphrodite, dotted hermaphroditic person um it's hard to speak on it because i'm i'm not you know i can't i won't speak on someone else's you know situation i'm just trying to like more or less like define from what i'm reading here in my own research so yeah so that's what that's what it is (laughs) okay i have a hello kitty just like you do google it and look it up but Buddy met Nate here, and they got married. Nate flew over to Washington State. They had a ceremony and everything, so they got legally married. To love and to cherish, from this day forward, until death do us part. Hillary, take your after me. Hi, Hillary. Thank you, Nathaniel. Thank you, Nathaniel. To be my husband. To be my husband. 
to have him to home. So they got legally married. So buddy Nate, the Hispanic guy here, flew back over, Nate Sanchez, flew back over to Connecticut, and he was still living this single life. He didn't tell anybody he got married. He secretly married, I was about to say Clarence, he secretly married Hillary and was living that single life on TikTok, so showing off all the pictures that you guys may see here. Trying so I want to say this, what Nate is doing is not very different from what a lot of husbands do. So... I just want to keep that in mind for a lot of people. Like people are saying, oh, he married her for her money. He married her and he's ashamed because she's a transgendered woman or her, I guess hermaphrodite. He married her, um, but he's embarrassed because she's so much older. So what's the excuse for all the husbands that marry their wives and they're also lying and their wives are the same age as them and they're actually real women and they don't have any money? What's the excuse then? Maybe it's just because guys lie a lot. Uh, put it on for the ladies to show the ladies what time it is. With the thirst traps and everything he was doing, the ladies start coming after him. So Hillary didn't take too kindly to this and decided to expose the brother and say, hey, we've married. We've been doing all these things. We got receipts and everything. And here you are out here in these Internet streets trying to pretend that you're single putting up all the videos all the proof showing that they've been doing all these things hitting the casinos all the casinos out in washington tacoma and everything and buddy was getting so scared about it because he was being outed that he married a transgender woman that somehow the mother got involved and said take the stuff down and he gave buddy the phone number to talk to his mom and i guess that didn't go over too well we will be going live at 9 p.m central standard time as usual We had our marriage on May 22nd of 2022 was our marriage. Sometime around May 4th or May 5th, I had got a weird feeling in my stomach. I was thinking, is my husband a player? The only conversation I ever had with his mother was after our video, the video that I posted went viral. My husband, because he was afraid that I was going to go public with our relationship within our marriage, frantically gave his mother my phone number. And she called my phone. So this is interesting because I'm wondering, does the husband still live with his mom? Also wondering why was Hillary okay with getting married in Washington State and then her husband going all the way back to Connecticut? Why aren't they living together? So these are just some random questions I have on the top of my head. And she said, leave my son alone and take my son off your social media. So in this case... I wonder if the mom knew that he married Hillary before he's... The husband freaked out and gave his mother Hillary's number. I wonder if she knew about it and how did she feel? Was she okay with it until now when Hillary is being louder about their marriage? Or did she just not know? Or did she know and she didn't agree with it? There's like so many questions. See, it's all over the internet now. Hillary was going ham Newton on TikTok. Basically putting all this stuff out. People clowning, talking about what in the holiday heart. Buddy does look like Jason Whitlock, if I'm not mistaken. Matter of fact, I'm not mistaken. Buddy does look, that's Jason Whitlock's twin. And Bing Rings is a strong second on there. But Buddy's living his lifestyle. He's saying that he's, for you ladies, he's more of a woman than you are. And things are going to be what they're going to be. My husband asked me, when we woke up the next morning, he said, Why don't you have an odor? My my husband asked his wife why she don't have an odor. <laughs> what are you bitches doing to y'all Hello Kitty the way y'all got got odors down there? Wash your ass. Dush out your Hello Kitty. I don't know what their current situation or if they're still married. Obviously, they're still married. Supposedly, there were talks. His buddy's so much of a scammer. He promised this dude, like, gave her pay 40 grand to be his boy toy and to get married and to go through this whole ceremony. I guess Buddy was up for it. Buddy. <laughs> I'm 
say buddy both of them buddies the attention that buddy's getting from it i guess his tiktoks got canceled all this stuff like that and the other guy nate basically closed out all of his social media because of the embarrassment i guess he thought he's gonna keep it a secret but everything was recorded hillary got the receipts and here you are bro whether you sleeping in bed with the dude kissing the dude going out partying all this other stuff like that this dude is twice your age but i guess a lot of dudes do this for pay they'll take the money they'll do all this stuff and then try to go back to their lives man and that stuff follows them but at this point bro everybody knows you fell off of social media and this is just a backlash and something that you have to deal with sheesh anyway man this is a heck of a doozy here but they just had their one year anniversary what was it one year anniversary it said 2023 based off the wedding i think it was may 22nd of this year they got married so it's only a few months not together whatever but let me know from this day forward if they got married may 22nd they just passed a two-year anniversary if they're still married for better or for worse for richer or for poorer for richer or for poorer and sick and sad and to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, from this day forward, from this day forward, until death do us part. Until death do us The wedding ring is an outward symbol of an inward bond that unites two hearts in endless love. May you look at all right. Nathaniel, please repeat after me. Hillary, this ring is a token of my love. I marry you with this ring. With all that I have and all that I am. I personally feel like they're calling I feel like they're calling Hillary the husband. I mean Hillary the wife a scammer, and I feel like her husband is scamming as well. Because if you're getting sitting here getting married, but then trying to run back over to your state all the way across the country to Connecticut to pretend like you're not married, who's really scamming who? I don't know. I don't know. You tell me. Hillary, please repeat after me. Nathaniel, Nathaniel, this ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. I marry you with this ring. With all that I have and all that I am. Thank for the very first time, I'd like to announce Mr. and Mrs. Sanchez. I feel like he actually does care about her. He was very close to her just now. Um, even when he had to say his vows to his wife, he wasn't stuttering. He sounded very genuine. He looked her right in the eyes. So I just feel like it's very genuine. I feel like he wanted to marry her. And I feel like he's just young and still does not know how to deal with the truth coming out that he is potentially gay or married to a much older woman. Or maybe he's like, I heard, I read a story once a year, many years ago. It was either a story and I actually saw a movie. What was the like shallow how I've seen like movies where it's like basically the guy is falls in love with a woman, but she's like not that attractive. So he's like kind of trying to hide her. Um, but he loves her, but he just want everybody else to know that he loves her. Like maybe she's overweight or she isn't as pretty as he thinks he should be stepping out with, you know, so. These things happen, you know, people fall in love with people and then they worry about what others think. And um, that's really sad. It's really sad. Like if you really love somebody, you should be proud to be with them no matter what people think. And um, yeah, if you can't do that, then maybe you shouldn't be married to them. So that's it, y'all. I'm going to try to keep this short because it's like an hour already. I was going to go into TikTok, but I'm just going to stop here because I have another video I wanted to uh, get done. So thanks for watching, everyone. Leave your comments below about this situation. These marriages out here are struggle central all day long. <laughs> There's so many people out here either pretending to be married 
and they're not married or they're pretending to not be married, but they are child. I don't even, I can't even keep up anymore. So thanks for watching everyone. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.